I'm Colin Hosshill for Lantern TV, and I'm lucky to be joined by Lindsay Agnew, the one of the newest members of the Washington Spirit. You were, you were drafted number 19 overall last week. So I want to start back to just look at last week, that, that day. Where were you during the day? Like, how were you preparing for that moment? Well, it was a lot of stress leading up to the day, um, but we were at, actually at my apartment with, um, I live with Nichelle Prince, who was the other Ohio State mm -hmm. girl who was drafted, and then two of my roommates, Bridget Skinner and Nikki Miyashiro, and we were sitting through the draft. It was pretty long, and they said my name, and it was just like a very surreal moment mm -hmm. for, for me. Mm -hmm. So were you contacted by the spirit at all, or was this sort of a surprise you were going, and then all of a sudden they said your name? Yeah, well, it was, it was. I had um, knew there was interest a little bit before, but I was definitely not expecting it in that moment. And even when they said Lindsay, I was like, oh, maybe a different Lindsay. Mm -hmm. And then they said Agnew. We all just freaked out and started screaming and celebrating. So it was a really cool moment. I'll never forget it. Is everything you ever dreamed of, I imagine? Yeah, I mean, since I was a little girl, I've literally used to write in my journal. I wanted to be a professional soccer player. So mm -hmm. pretty crazy moment to mm -hmm. see it. I'll come to light. Yeah. So I guess let's go back to when you were a child. So when did you want to, when did you realize that college soccer was going to be a possibility for you? And then when you were in college, when did you think, wow, I might actually have, I might actually be good enough to be a pro? Well, um, I guess, I mean, since I've been playing soccer since I was like three years old, so I've always just loved it and kept playing. But then I would say maybe around my uh, freshman year in college or in high school is when college started being interested. And I was like, oh, wow, I'm going to go play college soccer. And so then when I committed to Ohio State, that was a dream come true as well. And then how old were you when that happened? When I committed, um, I was 16. So, mm -hmm. yeah, pretty early. But yeah. that's just that's kind of how the recruiting process mm -hmm. is now with girls soccer. But um, and then when I was in college playing pro, I mean, I think that you don't know any idea until the actual draft. I mean, I wanted to play pro, so I was going to look for obviously like tons of options. Mm -hmm. But with us, there's only 40 girls who get drafted. So mm -hmm. you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> so when you were at Ohio State, do you have any particular moments where you're going to be able to look back fondly and say, wow, these are these are my favorites. These are the ones that I'm going to be able to tell when I'm older, when I'm done with soccer. Oh, I mean, definitely. There's definitely tons of moments. Like, I've had an amazing experience here at Ohio State, I guess. Um, favorite moments? Um, well, definitely, like, all the tournament times, like, all the NCAA wins. And probably the one that definitely comes to mind is when we beat uh, Virginia Tech in the round of 32 my junior year and mm -hmm. went to the Sweet 16. Um, we were definitely the underdog. And then we, like, came out with it and played really well and came out with the win. And it was, like, big season for us so we were mm -hmm. so excited about that. Who, who at Ohio State and since you've been here has been a big influence on you and has allowed you to improve and be drafted and now you're a pro? Yeah I mean I think the whole coaching staff as well um, as all my teammates I mean the girls who you're with and then also like my strength and conditioning coach as well um, Tyler and but just like all the girls who pushed me day in and day out, we've had um, a couple of different coaches throughout the years, and obviously Lori stayed the same and helped me through everything. And but all my teammates every day, they come in, they bring the um, aggression and the competitive spirit, and so I would definitely have to like owe it to them to mm -hmm. be the ones who got me to where I am today. So looking forward, when you're going to be in Washington, is w so you said that they had interest in you prior to the draft. When you look at Washington, is that a team that you see yourself fitting in with? And then also, when you look off of outside of soccer, is Washington a city that you're excited to be in? Um, yeah, well, I guess I'll start with outside of soccer first. I mean, I love D.C. I've always loved D.C. Actually, mm -hmm. I always think it's a pretty city and things like that. Um, so I've and also one of my former teammates, Kayla, lives there. So that'll be cool to like be joined with her again. And then in terms of the team, I mean, I'm just gonna like work really hard and hopefully find a spot. Um, where I can fit in but I mean I know the coach has like a ton of experience in the league and he's done a lot for women's soccer so I'm really excited to meet him and um, join the team but in terms of me fitting in I just I'm going to try my best yeah. and work hard and mm -hmm. try to do things. So prior to the draft what is the pre-draft process for you beforehand or did you have to work out for any team did you did any team watch you or was it sort of here's my film you know how good I am? <laughs> uh, well um, I mean Right after my season finished, um, 
my one of my assistant coaches who used to work in the NWSL, he was um, pushing us to like get our highlight videos together and everything and helped us a lot with that. And that was actually a big help. And then I ended up um, emailing some of the professional coaches saying that I was interested in playing in the NWSL. And then you actually have to enter um, a draft form online and send out the film that way. And then sometimes coaches will contact you. So I had a couple coaches contact me um, saying that they might be interested and asking what my interest level was. And mm -hmm. so that's kind of the general process. Mm -hmm. And so I know there's going to be a lot of people who they see they saw that Bryce Harper, yeah. the famous Washington Nationals outfielder, tweeted you and congratulated you. And now you're going to his city. Can you yeah. explain how that came about? Um, so my former teammate, Kayla, um, she just married Bryce actually this past December. But so, yeah, um, I was actually their wedding was recently and yeah, so that's the connection there. Just mm -hmm. Kayla became one of my best friends when she transferred here from BYU. And her husband is Bryce, so <laughs> yeah. It's a good connection to have in Washington. Yeah, definitely, very cool. So uh -huh. I'm excited to join her and him. Um, so prior, so the season begins in April, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. So from now until then, I understand you're leaving tomorrow. So what are you going to do to prepare for this season? Um, I imagine it starts pretty soon. Yeah, well, um, I actually have a little bit of time. I'm leaving tomorrow for something else, but um, I have to leave mid-March for the training camp is when it starts. So yeah, I just have to figure that all out with um, school, my professors, and obviously my NWSL coach, figuring mm -hmm. out how I can come back and finish exams and different things mm -hmm. like that. But Oh, so, so you're still in school right now and you have to graduate? How, yeah. how is that, that going to work? Are you going to have to get exemptions from some of them so you can do work a little bit later? Or um, it's going to be difficult, I imagine. I, I actually did notice you're a two time you're you're on the second team academic all american yeah, so that is important yeah. yeah school is definitely very important to me that's one reason i came to ohio stakes i know it has great academics as well um, so i really want to graduate and i'm just gonna try my best to work out with my professors i mean obviously maybe not gonna go get straight a's this semester but um, i have done school from away a couple different times like finding times to do exams and do projects and maybe extra assignments to make up for missed class time mm -hmm. so i'm gonna figure it out to the best of my abilities. <laughs> One thing that I think a lot of people who don't know professional women's soccer, um, when they see that there, I, I think a lot of people don't even realize that there is a professional women's soccer who aren't in the that part yeah. of it. So if you're interested so much in academics and then now you're going to be a professional soccer player, are you going to have... Do you, are you going to have to pursue a career while you're in soccer at, since you're so interested mm -hmm. in that? Or, or is soccer your number one right now and your only? Um, right now, soccer is my one and only. Um, my dad always says, like, this is the only time that you can do soccer, so you might as well explore that dream while you can. And so I'm just going to do that full-heartedly for a little while. And then, um, you know, you can always go back to academics and a future career path. And so that's my plan right now. All right. Well, that's all for us. Congratulations, Lindsay. And I, I decided to see what you do in Washington. Thank you. Thanks so much. Go Bucks. <laughs>